Hey, Mike, uh, how'd you guys pull this one off today without one of your go-to guys uh, being available? We went out there, we competed for 40 minutes. Um, that simple? Did you guys do anything differently or, or better today than you had the, the last time out? You know, what were some things that kind of lined up early, uh, at least Man, in this ball game? We really just did a good job of playing at our pace for for 40 minutes. <laughs> you know, out there moving the ball, just just playing our ball, bro. And that's what works for us. Uh, can you describe the kind of lift James gave you guys in the first half? Uh. I've been telling James lately to shoot the ball more, and which he should because he can shoot it. <laughs> right. That's what any shooter should do. They should shoot it any time they get any sort of opportunity to shoot it. So just let it fly and it'll handle itself. Was it rewarding, James, for you to, to see some of those go in in the first half? Yeah, absolutely. It felt good. Um, again, I think it just comes back to getting comfortable. But yeah. Obviously felt great. I was feeling myself a little bit. How did you guys get, same thing I asked Mike, how did you guys get by, by without Jordy today? What kinds of things, you know, who had to pick up slack or, or how did you make up that absence in what ways? Did uh, you I'd say that? same way, same way that we've been getting by the whole start of the year when, when guys are out, people just step up, you know. Uh, this, I mean, Kevin's first game starting too, he had 17 points, uh, four rebounds. We have five guys in double figures. So I think it's just across the board, everybody's stepping up. Mike, in those uh, final two minutes there, they turned up the pressure a little bit and sort of fought their way back. What allowed you guys to still sort of overcome them and, and uh, you know, keep that day a little bit for you guys? Mm, just really staying poised and just taking our time as much as we could and try to get the ball in and cut and keep moving together so we can kind of finish the game off and just knock down our free throws and just try to defend without falling. But, What's it like for you guys when you know you guys see a guy like Bearden who's, who's been in here before, you guys have played him before, and just to, to watch him get so wrapped up into his own head like that? I mean, <laughs> he, he, he definitely likes to talk while he's out there on the court. So we, we kind of expected that from playing against him when he played at Buffalo or whatever. But we just expected it, and we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we got people who go compete with him. So I don't think he was ready for yeah. that. And how does it feel to kind of flip it around on him and, you know, have a backfire on him like the way it did today. I mean, I mean, I think we're just gonna keep doing our stuff. It's obviously unfortunate for him. Like he's a good competitor, yeah. and uh, I was looking forward to playing him because this is my first time being able to play him. But um, it's definitely a good win for us. Yeah, because they beat who they beat Purdue, Purdue, SMU, and Purdue. Uh, Purdue beat Maryland, I think. Uh, and they they play they Villanova Lobo. close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they play Villanova pretty close. So it's, it's a good win for us. So James, everyone thinks you should shoot the ball more, and you hit three yeah. threes in a row, and then <laughs> didn't shoot the ball too much. That, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm gonna shoot it if I'm open. So first half they just went in. Second half they didn't. James, could you describe? You, you've been around Mike mm. three full years now. Can you describe how he's different uh, this year in terms of? Today, I thought he looked like the prototypical senior guy. Willing his oh, absolutely. Leading. Absolutely. There was a stretch down there. Uh, you hit that three. Um, I hit you for that layup. You had that and one. That was huge. You know, he's just, he's really, I'd say he's accepting the role as being our senior leader. Um, very similar to how uh, how uh, Treg was his senior year um, and, the, and the guys last year as well. But. Big time players make big time plays, and I think he's starting starting to really feel that fill that role as a big time player for us. James, obviously, you know you can shoot the ball, but just to have you know we talked a little bit about it yesterday. Eventually, they were going to start to fall, but to have the assurance to watch a few go in like that mm -hmm. today, what's that going to do for you going forward? Um, I don't know. I would say, coach always says never get too high, never get too low, just stay even keel. So honestly, I'm trying not to get too hyped up about it, but. You know, it felt it felt good. Like I said, I'm getting comfortable out there, and I'm just gonna keep letting them fly if I'm open. Mike, uh, Kevin Mickle had three double-figure games in his whole career at Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, he's got four now in his time here at Ohio. What what was overlooked about Kevin's game uh, when when he first came here? Um, he said when he was at Gulf Coast, he wasn't used to his full potential. So like, 
they was basically using them strictly as a big man, so they didn't let them dribble, shoot, or none of that. Just basically just uh, block the block post up, catch a lob. You know, it's a lob city and he can jump. So while he here, he, he really can show a lot of his game. Like he really can push the ball up the floor, break someone down off the dribble, and actually shoot threes. When he wasn't really able to show that I golf post, he can't here. Did it surprise you guys a little bit along the way? You've, you've been working together for so many months now, it's probably not. A- not really. I, I haven't really seen him, like, seen any film on him while he was at Golf Coast, so I don't really know how that went specifically. But once he got here, I mean, I seen this game, and I'm like, all right, he could do a lot more. And he could do a lot more than what they was using him for. So. When Cowboy wasn't to have this kind of response to that again, <coughs> I mean, that loss to Maryland, we just try to put that behind us and keep moving forward and just try to take it game by game and possession by possession to try to get everyone we can and just try to leave the ones behind us. Like, just learn from those games. Like, basically, like, watch the film, look at all the mistakes we made and just keep moving forward and learn from them. Lots of overlooked guys on this roster producing right now, James. What What is it like to be part of that, that movement, so to speak, whether it's Mike having a breakout year Kevin, you, uh, mm-hmm. young guys, uh, mm-hmm. a lot of people wanting to write you guys off and you keep doing enough good things to, to make that not happen. What's it, what's um, it like to be inside that right now? Well, I mean, when, Do you guys when, have a collective chip on your shoulder, so to speak? Yeah, absolutely. The thing that I feel like everybody on our team got is that, that competitive edge. And having lost as many guys as we did last year, good players. Um, and and having that opportunity for guys to step up, like I keep going back to, um, I feel that's kind of helped us out the most. But uh, everybody brings it every single day in practice, and even after a loss like Maryland, like Mike said, we just learn from it. Um, don't like I said, don't get too high, don't get too low, just even keel, learn from it. I mean, for both of you, when when Mike had the and one a bunch of other times, James, when you got your, hit your threes. Mm. Jordy's on the bench, hyping you guys up. What's he telling you when you guys come back to the huddle? Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Basically, Shoot. I mean, he's he giving us a lot of good advice. I mean, he's been around us all this time, so he know our game. He know what we're capable of. So when we get out there, he's just telling us to do the things <clears> that we would normally do. So Absolutely. Jordy's a winner, so even when he's, even when he's sitting out. And I tried to do the same for the long time that I was sitting out, but he's always on the bench cheering, cheering his teammates on. Anything else for the players? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.